Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys all about the poly gel. The poly gel kit that I received from Model Ones. Model Ones is a company that has the best nail products right now online and they sell everything you need to create beautiful, beautiful nails from poly gels to acrylic to dip powder, all kinds of nail product. And I don't know if you guys ever saw my acrylic tutorial nails that I did towards the beginning of the pandemic when we were basically quarantined at home. I mentioned to you guys, if you guys wanted to see the poly gel uh, style and I got a couple people that wanted to see it, how it's done. I even used to get so many compliments at work when I used to wear my poly gel and people would ask like, what is it? People didn't know what it was. Um, so here's a video that I'm going to show you guys everything you need to know about the poly gel. It's very easy. You can do it at home. Nothing other than what you're going to get in the kit is really required. Maybe just like alcohol, a little container that I'm going to show you along in the video. Just a couple things that you might need, but that you might already have at home. So I received two kits from Model Ones. This is one of the first kits that I received and in this kit, um, I received two poly gel, uh, one in clear and one in this soft pink. And that is the one that I am wearing right now. This is clear and this is soft pink. So you have those two. You also receive the Model Ones brush and picker. So basically it's a brush and I'm gonna show you guys everything. The brush has the actual brush on one side and like a little kind of a spatula type thing to pick up the product on this side so you get that in the box you also get your top and your base coat you also get your poly nail gel slip solution and I will explain that to you what that is as well and you actually get a couple of little items too like you know some blue glitter that you can add to the poly gel if you want to change you know the pink with some glitter on it or the clear i haven't really practiced too much in the the glitters with the poly gel that's something that i'd love to get into but i haven't gotten into that and this is just some jewelry that you get as well you also get a nail filer a really good nail filer and the best part is you also get the model ones uv led nail lamp which is this adorable lamp it's so tiny it's so tiny and practical you can travel with it um, but it's just like the tiniest thing it's actually smaller than a phone it's got the little legs and you just press the button you just press the button here and you stick your nails under and it dries and it shuts off in 60 seconds which is all you need um, that all comes in this kit along with let me not forget you also get your nail form this is like um, the what molds the nail onto your actual nail. And you know, you want to size them before you uh, put the poly gel on there. But as the tutorial goes along, I'm going to explain to you guys how to use that. I just first wanted to show you guys what you get in this kit. And this kit is on sale. Um, and that has everything you need to create the nails that I have on today. And even more because of course you have the jewels and the glitter if you want to add to your creation. I highly recommend this kit if you're starting out. This would be the first kit I would choose if I had absolutely nothing to do, not even the lamp, nail file, the brush. This is a kit you want to purchase if you're starting with the poly gel system because it has the UV lamp, which you're gonna need, and it's got the two basic um, poly gel colors as well. Like the basic is the clear. The clear is beautiful because the nails look like glass. And you also have the poly, no, you also have the soft pink, which is the one that I have on right now. So I highly recommend this kit. If you go on their website, they have so many kits. This is the one I would choose if I don't have the nail dryer, the first starter kit. This is the one I would recommend and it is on sale. Now this kit is called the Sexy Mix Kit. This is the kit I would order if I want to create artwork. Artwork meaning like jewels, maybe some um, aluminum strips, which you can create really unique um, designs. They have some dry flowers, which you can implant underneath the poly gel and it shows through with the clear. 
um, it has all sort an assortment of glitter let me show you guys what you get in this kit I love this kit and I cannot wait to start playing with this kit you obviously get your nail forms you know to create the nails and sometimes they, you know there's more than one package of nails um, to size because not everybody has the same nail size so they are different some of them have a, a slight of a different shape so um, you can create the shape that you want to create they also have these nail forms too so you can freehand gets a little more technical but if you're an expert and you're good at this um, this would be a kit you might want to buy because you're already experienced with it and you have the art to create the artwork and you also have these freehand nail forms this is what I love and I can't wait to use this. This is the dry flowers. It's really pretty because you get all these different colors. Um, you use it with your clear poly gel and it shows right through. I'm sure you guys have seen lots of nail art like this on Instagram. Uh, these are the glitters. You get like six different tones. You get all these nail diamonds, little crystals in every single color to create more nail art. You also get the poly gel in clear. You get it in a light pink and you get it in pure white. I love the pure white as well. You get all three of these along with your base coat and your top coat, the brush, your nail filer, and of course your slip solution. The other item you do get in the sexy mix kit that I almost forgot is actually one of my favorite items to create artwork i don't know if you guys have seen designs with these foils these are it's a very very thin really thin foil that you can create different art looks you can put it across your nails or like in a v-shape with a little diamond in the center like i've seen so many times i'll try to include a picture here to show you guys the kind of artwork that you can create with these um aluminum strips and you have yellow you have silver purple uh, like a rose pink white this is black blue green and pink this is something I'm really excited to use another item that you receive in the sexy mix kit is these little tweezers to grab the little rhinestones to put on your nails this is great because this you're gonna need because you don't want to mess up your nails um, and this grabs the stone really well and places it on the nail. I hope I got everything that comes on this kit because this kit was packed. So yes guys, if you guys want to see what poly gel is all about and how amazing it is to work with poly gel, if you're somebody who loves long nails, I'm telling you, you're going to want to try this because one thing about poly gel that I noticed is it's very hard to go short. You have to um, more than more than likely you're gonna want to be medium or really long nails if you consider this medium this is long for me i know a lot of girls go a lot longer but if you love long nails or like medium length like this you're gonna love poly gel let's get started on the model ones nail tutorial okay guys what is not shown in the video because i ended up doing last night on my own was after I removed my acrylics that I've had on for a couple of months now, I ended up having to cut my nails down because they were like really dark or yellowish. From doing so much acrylics on my nails, I had to cut all my nails down. And once you do that, you want to make sure your nail is dry and buffed out. Meaning like you want to make sure that your nails have no dry edges. Um, you want to make sure you kind of get a soft buffer or nail filer that's kind of worn out and buff the top of your nails kind of like if you were preparing them for false nails and then you're going to want to get an alcohol swab and swab every single one of your nails now you go into this step i am first putting on the base coat on my nails and then i am going to insert my hand the nails underneath the nail the uv lamp dryer for 60 seconds also making sure when you do apply the base coat that you do not get your skin or your cuticle make sure that you only paint the clear base coat on your natural nail very important as well the nail forms that you see set aside they fit perfect to my nail size meaning they have to fit from sidewall to sidewall making sure that it doesn't overlap on the skin or it's too short for the nails
I'm going to go ahead and place a pearl size or like a pea size amount of poly gel onto my nail form it's so much easier to just go directly to the nail form instead of scooping it out with the back of the brush poly gel is a very very sticky consistency and it's just much easier if you could just place it right on the nail form it makes the work a lot easier guys poly gel is so so sticky the very first time i ever played with poly gel i had stickiness everywhere <laughs> so the slip solution is what came in that little white bottle you want to pour that into any kind of jar i have this little glass jar that works perfectly and i pour it in there so once you create the bead behind the plastic form you want to go ahead and start flattening out the poly gel so i'm dipping my brush in the nail uh, slip solution that little white bottle that says slip solution you want to pour that into any kind of little jar that you have and you notice that i'm tapping my hand first before i go directly to the poly gel because the poly gel you don't want to have it too wet the consistency has to be just right you have to play with this to get it right a couple times guys the first time i ever played with poly gel i am telling you right now it was a sticky mess everywhere it's a very extremely sticky consistency so the slip solution is allowing you to kind of form the poly gel and you want to kind of form it out making sure you're getting all the free edge all the the side walls of the form almost as if you were creating your own nail form just making sure that everything is nice and evenly spread just like this now you want to flip the form over obviously without touching too much of the poly gel and you want to place it on your nail that you applied the base coat on gently press it down a little bit sometimes when you do press it down you'll notice that on the um, free edge which is like right there where the cuticle is notice how i'm placing the brush again in the slip solution and i'm kind of just forming it so that i'm flattening it so that it just you know doesn't stick out and i don't have a lot to buff down um the one thing about poly gel is it does not harden until you cure it under the lamp so you do have time to form it and making sure you have it placed right where you want it making sure it's not crooked so right now you see how i pressed it down gently i'm pushing it down making sure i feel like it's adhering to my entire nail and now I'm placing it under the um, LED lamp for it says 60 seconds guys but honestly I rather do it a little bit longer because sometimes you have too much gel and you want to make sure that when you're buffing it out you don't want to run into any wet spots in the inside of the nail sometimes it does not cure all the way with 60 seconds i promise you you're going to want to do it a lot more than 60 seconds i would say um, a good minute and 30 seconds is the best way to cure the poly gel and after the minute and 30 seconds i also like to flip my nail um, getting the bottom of the nail as well and i like to do that for at least 60 seconds And now for the most satisfying part of the whole entire tutorial is removing the nail form. Notice how I was wiggling the nail form and it just pops right off. Now I am going to create another little round pearl onto the nail form and I'm going to basically repeat the same thing. Um, also another thing I wanted to mention was when you start uh, forming the poly gel in the form you don't have to worry about the actual tip unless you want to create like a um you know a stiletto tip or a coffin tip you can mold it with the brush i personally just like to file it and do it freehand with the filer so i don't worry too much about what the tip is going to look like i just always make sure that it's uh spread to the length that I want my nail, making sure that I have enough room to create whatever tip you want. Since I just wear my nails, you know, like a square tip, um, I don't really worry too much about what the tip is gonna look like, you know, like right here in this little area, I just make it nice and even. Making this area really nice and even is really important because when you push down, you don't want a lot of that poly gel to spread out from the bottom. Um, you can also get an e-filer which is an electric filer 
to buff out the inside of the nail, the bottom area of the nail. And I'll, I'll show you guys a little demonstration in this tutorial exactly what it is that I do to uh, making sure that the inside, the bottom of the nail is nice and flat. And now you want to make sure you press gently, not too much pressure, but enough to feel like your entire nail is filled with poly gel and you can kind of feel it because it kind of has like a cold sensation so you'll feel that your entire nail is covered um, i like to sneak under and just make sure i give it a tiny little push so that i can cure just to make sure i am pressing down enough to cover the side wall of the nail Now I'm going to file my nail down with the nail filer that they provided, making sure that I am creating the, the square shape that I like on my nails and also the side wall of the nails, making sure that there's no poly gel that's um, accumulated on the side. So you're just basically shaping with the nail filer. And now basically what you do is you buff and you file away um, anywhere around the nail to just form it into looking like the nail that you want it to look like, you know, making sure you're filing the side walls, making sure you're filing the tip and the cuticle area. Sometimes it fills up with um, extra poly gel. Um, I do use the electric filer but I will tell you one thing if you're not familiar with using one I don't suggest it um, and if you do want to learn um, to use an e-filer with the poly gel system you have to make sure that your bid is a very very gentle one because the nail filer can file down poly gel poly gel is a lot softer than acrylic now you just want to get some alcohol and spray all your nails, cleaning your nails, making sure there's no powder or dust. I just spray it with alcohol and I wipe it down with a paper towel. And now you want to apply the clear top coat on the nail, making sure you don't get your skin because this does cure under the UV light a lot like gel nails.
I know I'm gonna get a lot of questions regarding the maintenance and um, how easy are they to remove um, I will tell you a couple of things any questions that you may have and I haven't um, mentioned them here in this video please leave them down below because I will answer any questions that you may have or you can DM me in Instagram as well but the only questions that really stand out for me is no they don't pop off easy um in comparisons to acrylic i think these are harder to remove soaking off time is just there is no soaking off you really have to kind of buff them down um poly gel is something that you want to keep on for a very long time and even as your nail grows out you can do fillings because they will last a lot longer than acrylics they don't melt easy and with acetone and they do not pop off easy as well so if you have an issue with acrylics popping off on you or breaking you're gonna want to try poly gel and that is it for the tutorial guys i hope you guys found this tutorial easy i promise you that the more you practice the more you do this the better you get at it i haven't done poly nails in such a long time until model ones reached out to me i said it's what a perfect opportunity because i kind of was getting tired of my acrylics and i wanted to do the poly nails so um and this is something you can do at home you can save so much money by doing this at home what not a better time to practice to do your own nails at home than now because you don't want to be at a nail salon right now it's not a good time to be out in the public with surrounded by other people i love doing my nails and i don't know i mentioned to you guys in my previous video that i do my nails every week i find it so therapeutic and i promise you guys i didn't i went to school for cosmetology but i did not learn how to do my nails through school i did this all on my own and if i can do it you guys can too and it's a great way to save money and pass time at home and picking up a new hobby so yeah guys that's pretty much it for this tutorial i hope you guys enjoyed it i'm leaving all the information on model ones down below in the description box the link to um, all these products to their website and you can just click on that and you can see all the prices on all the different kits and products that they sell i hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know what you guys think i think my next nail tutorial will be fillings if you guys want to know how to do fillings on poly gel because your nails are going to start to grow and you want to be able to do the fillings here in the cuticle area let me know down below if you guys want to see how i achieve fillings please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up subscribe on your way out and i'll see you guys in my next video thank you so much for watching